Alright, hello everyone, my name is Chef, welcome back to The Butcher's Circus, and today, as you might have noticed from the thumbnail, I'm gonna be going with a zealous accusation spam crusader. So I thought, well, what wacky things haven't I done yet? And when I say wacky, I don't mean like just completely dysfunctional, I mean themes that actually can work. And I thought, well, you know what I haven't done in a while? just trying to spam Zalus Accusation on the Crusader, so I'm gonna try to build a team around it, and that is exactly what I have done. I have brought myself three characters that can move back with their respective abilities to make sure the Crusader stays in positions 1 and 2, to use that Zalus Accusation with the power of the rate of execution, giving me a hell of a lot of damage. So I'm gonna start off with a launch here on the Grave Robber, which is kind of unsatisfying in terms of the amount of damage, I was hoping for a hell of a lot more than 10, but you know, such is the way of the Witcher's Circus, so my opponent immediately goes for the guards, so they have a bit of a defensive team here, without Reclaim, which is very interesting that you run the defensive team without Reclaim. If I were playing, uh, you know, with a normal mark team, I could just mark the mana arms here and your entire team would crumble, but, you know, such is the way of the Witcher's Circus, but it is completely okay. I'm gonna continue by dropping the battle bell now, which will give me good accuracy values, which I very much need for the Zealous. Its face accuracy is only 90, which isn't atrocious, but it's definitely not wonderful, and with the... Uh, two trinkets that we have here, and now with the battle ballot, my head chances are actually quite nice. So I'm probably going to be going for them. I don't think going block of light here is going to do me any good, so I'm just going to start spamming the zealouses. Quite uh, a sad damage roll there, also for a hell of a lot more than the 9 and the 9, especially considering this is plus 25% damage, but you know, what can you do about it? And my Herbalist is already getting focused down. Okay, Herbalist, you'll be fine, don't worry about it. We're gonna go for the Sniper Shot. <laughs> There's the crit for 26, that's very helpful. That might turn the tide of the match here, because I don't really see how my opponent's gonna save this, uh, this Man at Arms. They really don't have a way of saving him. Well, we can go for that, and uh, am I dropping this or yet? No, not quite, not even close, actually. So I can just go ahead and drop another sniping shot here, and boom, nice, a high roll. And now my opponent's already in a weird spot, because they didn't bring Reclaim on this team, which you definitely should. They have an interesting team going here, I don't know its name, but uh, you definitely should bring Reclaim here. You don't have a, another healing character, this is literally your only healing character apart from the doggy self-heal, so very odd that my opponent's doing that. And now they, they decide to go for the guard dog while I have a Dirk Snap Jester, so definitely interesting decision making to say the very least. I go for the 60, but sadly I do not get it, there is no justice in this world. But it's okay for now, it's definitely gonna suck a little bit if I don't get it the second time around, but you know, I just have to, I just have to cope with it. If my opponent had Reclaim here once again, they could just click, go Reclaim and then they'd be perfectly okay, but you know, since they didn't do that, well, they didn't do that. Now, I do not get to go first, so actually dropping Zealous here could be hurtful for us because we might make this flatshot be able to drop the abilities that he wants to drop, and since I don't want that to happen, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop Holy Lance onto the Grave Robber instead, with the extra 20 accuracy from the Battle Melt, my hit chance is actually quite nice, and uh, boom, down she goes to the store, so that's already two characters at the store for my opponent. You're gonna go for a very big punish on my Grave Robber, ouch, that is most definitely an ouchie, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the Shadow right here. One thing to note, is that I do have the Cloak and Dagger. I also have the Eagle Eye Talisman, just giving myself the extra accuracy for the launch. It, it likes to miss if you go first for, for some bizarre reason. It has 110 accuracy, which is good, but I feel like it should have a little bit more than 110, but you know, it's fine. Uh, so we bring the Eagle Eye Talisman to make that better, and then we also have the Cloak and Dagger here. So I could technically go for a launch, and my death blow chance would be an extra 20, an extra 20, an extra 10. Wow, that's really good. That's really quite good, actually. Do I want to go for that? Um, as as good as that sounds, as good as that sounds, I'll go for the dark snap here, and I'll try to go for the launch on the on the grave robber. It's kind of weird, but I don't want to go for my healing action immediately. Are they gonna guard? They're actually gonna guard. Who is this guy, Sina? 724, 724. This is the darkest opponent that is making a lot of questionable decisions. I might miss. That's definitely a possibility, but 95. Oh my god. 95 and a 75, and I don't get it. Seriously? A 75, and I fail it. My opponent goes for the 25. Thankfully, there is a little bit of justice left in this world, in this 
bizarre twisted world. I could heal here. If I heal for more than four, I'll be able to save myself from this door, but uh, honestly, I don't want to take the risk <laughs> of healing for more than four. So I'm just gonna click, I'm gonna go for the heal, and then I'm just uh, gonna chill. Are they taking enough bleed? No, they're not, thankfully, so I'll be fine here. If they were taking enough bleed, they'd be able to drop a redeem, and then the grave robber would just be perfectly okay, which. I would not be okay with if that happened, so I guess they're just gonna go for their final action before they resign themselves, essentially. And, ouch, that is gonna be an affliction, okay. Oh, that's unfortunate, but I go fearful, so maybe the little bit of dodge gives me a helping hand, I doubt it because of the crown of thorns, but, you know, what can I do about it? Do you think this dodge would make a difference? No way. Oh, god. Oh my god, okay, 94. And a 75 to kill, and I fail it again. That's two 75s and a 60. Oh my god damn. Alright, well, looks like the Butcher Circus doesn't want me to win today. They go for the Reign of Sorrows there. Watch me get a Fearful Pass immediately, by the way. Okay, Masochistic, that's that's pretty good. I, I, considering I'm dropping to this door, maybe it's not that good, but... Yeah, here's another problem. I've already used my Jester action, so even though they go for a greedy flagellant action, there's no way for me to punish it. Unless I were to get a crit pick to the face, but yeah, with Fearful, I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. Hmm, there is one possibility, though. I'm gonna go for the Shadow Fade. There is one... Okay, that's that's fine. I'm gonna go for the Shadow Fade here. The plan that I have right now is that I get a very nice Zealous roll because of the bleeding from the Crown of Thorns, so he's taking extra damage. So after the very nice... Was that a kill? No, okay, I'm good. After the very nice Zealous roll to bring this guy down to zero immediately, I go for the ball and get the immediate death blow. If that were to happen, I would be a very, very happy Shepherd Doggy. Oh, it's 9 to 15. Ah, oh, not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Okay, who should I save here? Masochistic, please don't move forward, or... Ah, oh, the self-mark, my favorite act out. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, for now, I'm fine. I'm gonna heal the, the Arbol. I mean, I'm gonna heal the Grave over here and save the Arbols. Why? Why do you do that, Shep? No, I want to have a way of bypassing the guard. Now, they're gonna click here and they're probably gonna go for the Redeem. But if they do that, I'm gonna go for the lunch immediately. I, I don't care. I'm gonna go for the lunch and I'm gonna kill the flagellant instead. I'm perfectly okay with this. I am perfectly okay with it. I could also go for the lunch on the grave robber. Oh, there's so many plays here. Fearful, please don't. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of stress. Oh my god. Yeah, it's from the plus stress dealt. Wow, well, stealth. 24. Oh, the hit chance. Oh. Yeah, but that's a, that's a 24 to kill. What if I... What if he guards and then I don't get the death blow? I'm screwed, am I not? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna go for her instead. Because if he guards and I don't get the 45, I am downright screwed if that happens. But, uh, because, you know, I could try hitting the, uh, the Grave Robber then, but I wouldn't have a death blow most likely. Ah, goodbye. Goodbye, Arbolus. You did well. You did well enough, I, th I feel. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a Dirk Snap now. Hopefully it's the kill. It's a 90, so it would be very unlucky not to get a kill right there. And now my opponent's gonna go for the guard, which is very, very sad. But, oh, they don't go for the guard. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting that they don't go for the guard here. That means that, uh, you know, I have the finale up. That's that's the big buzzword right now. It's finale. With one finale, I can take this flagellant out in one fell swoop. So if they don't try guarding here, I will go for it. Oh, do I go for it immediately? Five damage plus. How much is that, Shep? Now, three is 14 to 25. Uh, wait, three is 14 to 25. Four is 16 to 29. Five is like 19 to 35. With the prot, but with the crown of thorns, it should be enough. It should be enough. Oh god, 18 to 35. Look at the crit chance though. Eee, 35 with the max roll. Get wrecked, man. Get wrecked. Freaking RNG saving rolls from the 60 and the 75s twice. And somehow still loses the match. God damn. Well, I mean, I'd say still loses the match, but this could still very easily take a turn for the worst. But uh, at this point, I find that. Ooh, I find that hard to believe. Look at that dodge. That dodge is. Uh, it is something, isn't it? 
Well, it doesn't matter much when I get lucky now, does it? <laughs> Not really. This is why I bring the Eagle Eye Talisman. It's just such a nice trinket to have on the Grave Robber. Sure, the 20 accuracy is good, but what if you don't get a chance to use Battle Battle? Then you're really gonna suffer, because your accuracy is uh, definitely lacking on the Grave Robber. At least that's how it feels for me. So yeah, I might have jinxed it. I, I could still lose this here. Like, if I get unlucky with a Grave Robber here and I'm unable to heal or something like that, then uh, things are gonna go south very, very quickly for me indeed. But I'm gonna just drop a Shadow Fade here. I'm gonna heal the Grave Robber. There's no point just hitting into corpses. I don't feel like that's gonna make much of a difference. I'm just gonna drop the heal now, make sure she stays alive, and then the Chester is gonna hit into corpses, because while well, I don't think it makes much of a difference, there really isn't too much else that I can do. If he moves forward, do I move back? <laughs> no, he marks himself. I must say, I got pretty lucky with the act outs. Two self marks on these characters? Yeah. In terms of the team, once again, this is the same problem from yesterday's team with the Occultists, that while the team does look very good and it is quite aggressive and it has very good aggressive tools, it doesn't know how to break guards. And while it has two characters that can bypass the guard, I mean, the Grave Robber bypassing guard was really freaking cool with the, with the Cloak and Dagger, they pretty much gave me the win, honestly. While she does have that, there is the, the slight situation of... You know, if, if the guard does go down and you're not stealthed, or if the character hasn't taken enough damage already, you are not going to be able to like go for a stun or something like that. Really not having the stun here on the Crusader is uh, quite an interesting decision that you'd have to make if you're trying to, you know, give yourself the best chance of victory. But now I'm going to go for the Dirk Stab on myself with the Jester. Do it. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't. I'm going to go for the Dirk Stab here. Again, survives another death load, the 50-50 this time around. I still get the hit, so I, I'd consider myself lucky. But this man, this man has survived so many freaking death loads so with, with their characters. It's kind of an uncanny. Goes for the for the kill there, does get it, extra stress on only one character, so I should be okay here, right? Oh, I can sense a hairy crit coming. I can sense a hairy crit coming. Do I want to go for Holy Lance, or do I want to Shadow Fade into a heal? Yeah, both are interesting. I feel like Shadow Fade into a heal might be better here, though. The reason being that I... Ooh, nice! <laughs> Oh, it's, it doesn't it doesn't get it anyway. <laughs> yeah, the reason being that uh, yeah, I've run out of Shadow Fate. So there is there is another problem is that Shadow Fate is, is finite, right? But yeah, I could go for a heal here, uh, but honestly, at this point, I just try going for for Death Rose at the Crusader. Am I actually gonna lose this? There's a genuine chance I lose this. My hit chance sucks. Okay, do I want him to take out the Grave Robber? On one side. Yes, because then I'll be able to have full send accuracy on my Crusader, but uh, I also don't want that to happen because she has lunge. Okay, I get a dodge, that's very fortunate. I could try going for a heal here to stay out of this storm, but that would improve my hit chances, but... Um... Okay, I get a heal for 6! Alright, that's very good. That means I can go for the lunge now and I will only have minus 2 accuracy. Oh my god, why are the act outs being so eerie, like in such dramatic moments where they really matter, but somehow I'm still getting lucky with it, but okay, my opponent's luck with the death blows runs out, and the grave robber takes it in fashion as the absolute queen she is, even though she's called the DOT queen here, she didn't do too much DOT today, though I must say that one use of panic darts on the hound master really changed the fight there, but... Yeah, that was a pretty cool match between uh, between these two teams, and I will say I quite like the team that I was playing. I'm not sure if this is ideal, but I do like it. It's very similar to that launch grave over team I played like ages ago, but instead of this, it didn't have a crusader and it had a bounty hunter here, so I guess uh, they're kind of interchangeable in terms of uh, how much fun they are. I, I like them both. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you again another time. Cheers!